Hey everybody, um, happy Saturday. So today we're gonna make salsa verde. Um, I have these tomatillos, I peeled two of them. They come like this, I found these at ShopRite. They look like a green tomato, but they have a husk on them. So you just peel them. Now, they're a little, when you, they're like a little sappy when you, to the touch. They're kind of sappy where the base of the husk is. Now, I'm going to husk, you know, take the husk off. I'm going to wash them, dry them, cut them in half, and I'm going to broil them. You can boil them, you can broil them, and you can roast them on a pan if you want, like kind of on a pan. If you want, I'm going to roast them in the oven under the broiler, only because I think it'll taste better. They smell good. And then, traditionally, you're not supposed to add the garlic to the pan. I have one of my lasagna pans here lined with foil. I'm, always, I'm also going to add a sheet of parchment paper. Wash them, dry them, cut them in half. Put them cut side down. Roast them for five to seven uh, minutes in my under, under my broiler. It's on high. So you could kind of go between high and low so they don't burn for about five to seven minutes. Then you take the roasted tomatillos with, I'm roasting my garlic, you don't have to. Um, between a fourth of a cup and half a cup of fresh cilantro, one jalapeno, depending on how spicy you want it. Um, you can add two jalapenos, uh, green chili, if you really want to get crazy, you could even add um, a scotch bonnet if you want. It's very spicy. Um, it's up to you. And I'm also going to do a red onion. You could do a white onion also. A little fresh lime juice and some cumin. And I'll start our uh, salsa verde, so it should be complete. What am I going to do with this salsa verde? Um, I'm going to take some Ezekiel tortillas. You guys can use regular tortillas, corn tortillas. That chili that I made last week, I put half of it in the freezer. Mine right now is defrosting in my crock pot. Well, it's cooking now at this point in my crock pot. I'm going to stuff my tortillas with it. I'm going to put a little salsa verde at the bottom. I'm going to wrap up my tortillas with some of the chili. You guys can use any Mexican style cheese, uh, Cheddar Jack, Monterey Jack. To put on the inside, I'm going to add a few extra black beans. I'm going to throw in some tomatoes and roll them up, put them in. I'm going to use a product called almond cheese. So, for those of you who are trying to watch what they eat, this is no cholesterol, no GMOs, lactose, saturated fat, or and preservative free, no gluten. It's basically made out of almond, an almond base, uh, crushed almonds, and it's uh, natural. It has uh, rice flour in it, organic brown rice flour, sea salt. Um, you don't have to do this. The kind that I got was jalapeno jack style. I like my stuff spicy, so I'm basically gonna shred this after I put in my after I I'm gonna open up my tortilla I'll show you guys how I do it I'm gonna line it with my um, turkey chili I'm gonna shred this I'm adding black beans and I'm gonna add some tomatoes I'm gonna do a little salsa verde and some more black beans roll it up kind of line them up like soldiers put my salsa verde all over it add a little bit more of my almond cheese bake it in the oven and then serve it you can serve it with Spanish style rice I would do brown rice I'm going to do some roasted asparagus, uh, whatever you basically like, you know, and that's pretty much going to be our meal. It's a meal reinvented from leftovers that we had. I like to do that because I know sometimes we cook and we have tons of stuff left over and then it's like, what do you do? You know, do you throw it out? Do you give it to your neighbor? So why not reinvent it and make it something completely new? Okay, so let me get started on that and I'll be back. Okay, guys. Okay, so I'm back. So I'm going to cut these in half. I'm going to put them down like this on my baking pan that's already lined with foil. And I'm going to add some parchment paper. 
So if you, they smell very fresh. See what the inside looks like. Very fresh. Actually smell really good. Now, like I said, I'm going to roast my garlic. Actually, you know what I'm going to do also? So I'm going to put these skin side down. It's only for a few minutes, about seven minutes. But, you know, it also depends on how big your tomatillos are. I'm going to throw the garlic in also. I actually decided that I'm going to roast my jalapeno. So we're going to cut this in half. I'm going to remove the seeds with our knife. I don't know if you guys can see that. See? And I'm just basically going to remove the seeds without touching them because that's where the heat is. Throw that in my pan also. Other side. I'll show you guys in a second. So this basically this is what's going in the oven. I'm saying about five or seven minutes. You want to get a little char on them. Not burned, but char. If um, you need to do it a few more minutes, you could kind of, um, you know, trust your gut. Okay, so I'm going to throw these in, and I'm going to be right back. Um, hey, guys. Okay, meanwhile, um, I chopped up my onion, roughly. Um, I also have my cilantro that I washed. I'm going to get a paper towel and make sure I dry that very well. You don't need um, to chop it up very well. It's all going to go on the blender. So, my cilantro, just make sure it's clean. Just roll it. Make sure it's dry. I'm going to put it back on my board. If you want to do it a do a quick um, rough chop, you totally can. You're more than welcome to. But you don't have to. And then we're just going to check on our tomatillos. You can come this way and follow me. See, they're starting to blister a little bit. You can see that. Um, they're starting to char just a little bit. So, um, we're going to keep letting them char um, a little longer. And as soon as we take them out, we're going to blend them up with our fresh ingredients. And we'll have salsa verde. Okay, okay everybody. I'm back. Um, I have my roasted... Tomatillos here. I'm gonna actually remove them so you can kind of see. My parchment paper is burned, but that's okay. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna they're soft. So it took more than more time than what I thought. Um, it took more like a good 10 minutes with the oven preheated already. Um, I'm going to add the jalapeno also. So five fairly large tomatillos. I'm going to add them all to my blender. And see, this is a good thing that I like about foil and parchment paper. I'm done with this. Foil and parchment paper. And all I'm doing is this. Clean up done and it's garbage. So, now, I'm going to blend this up. While this is blending, I'm going to add my onion a little at a time. Red onion taste. 
cilantro. Like I said, it's a fourth of a cup to half a cup. It depends on your liking. Obviously, you're going to let this cool down a little bit. See how spicy it is? It has a little bit of a kick to it, which I like. It doesn't hit you right away. It hits you kind of like in the background. Definitely, I would add a little sea salt to this. It'll bring out a little bit more of the flavor. I'm not going to because I'm trying to do it uh, low sodium. For those of you who are, this is great. So I'm going to let this cool down. I'm going to post this. If you guys have any questions, just inbox, call me, or comment. If you do try this recipe, please give me some feedback. And I will do part two when we actually get the enchiladas together. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Have a good day.